Are you serious? Are you serious? Is the hands of time ticking? Are we running out of time? What? Are we running out of time? Are you running out of time? Are you running out of time? Let me explain to you what I mean. There is so many biblical signs. Get some coffee right now. And the stainless steel is, don't drink coffee out of plastic. Stainless steel inside, outside, or a good coffee cup, or drink, or drink some tea. Will Russia and Chinese military forces on Syrian soil prevent Obama from bombing Syria? That's a question that's being asked by Alex Jones over at Infowars.com. Everyone knows that Obama administration has been steadily gearing up for a military campaign against Syria. Everyone also knows that Russia and China do not want to see this happen. Now Russia and China are sending military forces to Syria. It is being reported that Russia, China, Iran, and Syria will be conducting a Middle East largest military exercise ever. Apparently, and they're going to do this in July of 2012, apparently 90,000 is what I'm hearing in other reports. 90,000 troops uh, will be involved. This will be the first time that the Russians and the Chinese have jointly deployed large numbers of troops in Syria. Will this show of military power be enough to prevent President Barack Obama from bombing Syria? Here's the next question. Will President Barack Obama, they didn't say this in the article, but I'm going to ask this. Will President Barack Obama and NATO implementing a no-fly zone before the exercise, will, will then Russia and China and Iran try to still carry on their exercise if the Americans and no-fly zone is already intact. Which is going to come first, the chicken or the egg? Who's the chicken? Who's the egg? And let me ask you this question. Is this all part of Bible prophecy that was spoken of by Daniel in chapter 11, 41 through 45? when it says, He, the Antichrist spirit, shall move into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown, including Egypt and Libya, and he'll stand at the steps of Ethiopia. Doesn't that sound like the Arab Spring? I mean, didn't we just have a change of President Cabo in Ivory Coast? Wasn't Ben Ali replaced in Tunisia? Wasn't Jose Mubarak, who they say has slipped into a coma, and another report says he's already dead, clinically dead. I don't think so, but he's no doubt he's in, he's in grave condition. And then, they, so he fell. Then, to, uh, then Libya's president, Muammar Gaddafi, deep, 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 deep in the bunkers, and then eventually deep, deep, deep in a sewer pipe, was dragged out by the hair of the head and shot in the street. Him and his son's body laid in a meat, freezer for four days. And after he fell, wasn't Ali Alabalala Saleh of Yemen seven assassination attempts on his life, leaving 40% of his body burnt? He had to go away. He came to the U.S. of A. to get treatment. And now we're talking Syria. And I still got an eye on Bahrain and Algeria. It looks like the Antichrist spirit has arrived in the Middle East. Because coming in right behind all of this is the Muslim Brotherhood. Now, I've been talking about that for some time. So you got America in the middle of what could be the start of World War III, or at least a massive Middle East war. But when you're involving all three superpowers, when you've got America and Britain and France and Canada and Australia and NATO on one side, and you got China, Russia, Iran, and some other folks on the other side, you've got a scenario that is apocalyptic. And I think God is trying to send us a message when he did this mushroom cloud 
overtop Beijing, China. I think God, this is a cloud. This ain't an explosion. This is not a nuclear explosion. This is a cloud that was seen last Thursday, June 14th, overtop China. Are you serious? Look at this. Look at this picture. I've already done a video on this, but I just got to show it again. I just want to, I want to bring this, look at that. That's the skyline of Beijing, China, and that is the mushroom cloud. That's the sun trying to set in this huge cloud, and look what it looks like. It looks like an explosion, like a nuclear explosion. It literally sent fear into the city of Beijing, China. Was God warning us? Is, God, is this one of the fearful sights, great signs that Jesus spoke about would come in the last days in Luke 21, 11. I believe it is. I believe that is. I believe that's a definite, fearful sign. You might say, oh, I don't know about that, Pastor. Read the headline. Awesome mushroom storm cloud. Look at this. Overtop the uh, skies of Beijing. Sparks end of the world fears. Now look what happened at the G20 summit. America has been given a rare warning from the G20 countries to not botch its own deficit-cutting measures amid fears that the world's biggest economy would fall off a fiscal cliff next year, 2013. The warning came at the end of a fraught two-day summit in Mexico dominated by Europe's debt crisis. While the world's most powerful economies urge European governments to do more to end their crisis, the rebuke to the White House reflects increasing concern that the American struggle with its own $15 trillion debt will be next to hit the world economy. Efforts by President Barack Obama and Congress to agree on a grand plan to cut the country's deficits have so far failed. There's not even an attempt. There's not an attempt. Let me explain to you. President Barack Obama and the Democrats have not even put a budget plan on the table. They've never submitted a budget. And the Republicans did submit one, but it was a joke. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The hands of time is ticking. The, we're on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're at the apocalyptic hour because we have economies crashing, which means the black horseman of the apocalypse is galloping. We have wars and rumors of wars throughout the world. We have Christians being murdered, massacred and murdered, not only in Syria and Damascus, not only in some Middle Eastern countries, but in Nigeria. Absolute genocide when you talk about Uganda and you talk about Zimbabwe and you throw in uh, uh, North Korea's imprisonment of Christians in China. We, I'm serious, folks. The mark of the beast is around the corner. The technology already exists in the RFID microchips. And I'm telling you now, the super world powers, the one world government, the new world order is gearing up. Plans are laid. Preparations are being pursued. Internment camps have been built, readied and ready to be occupied. The Constitution is being shredded. Presidents no longer even ask Congress what they're going to do. They just make executive orders. This didn't start with Barack Obama either. It's been going on now for about 30 years. It's just getting worse. We've gotten to a point where we're just borrowing money. We're not making anything. We've moved our manufacturing base to China. China owns us. China's buying land in America. They're getting ready to build Chinese communist cities in America, in Michigan, in Utah, in Idaho, in Colorado. Are you serious? And what about Obamacare? Are you saved? The, time, the hands of time is ticking. We're running out of time. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Repent of your sins. 
send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved.